this video, I want to show you how you can extend your metadata in XMP. XMP stands for Extensible Metadata Platform. One of the biggest advantages of XMP is that it's extensible, meaning you can add your own information to it. In Photo Supreme, this has been implemented in a very clean manner, sophisticated and yet simple to use. I'm opening the Information panel by clicking the eye icon. There's a link here called New Input Field. Give it a name that is meaningful to you. In my case, there are often situations where I don't want to create certain catalog labels because they are specific for only a few images, and I don't want to clutter my catalog structure with these entries. But I do want to find the images with specific terms. I'm going to call my field Extra Info. This Extra Info field is generic, and I'll enter search terms in it. It could be a reminder or a detail about the circumstances in which the image was shot. One of the advantages of Photo Supreme is that, once I've inserted some information here, it instantly becomes searchable or browsable in the Catalog Explorer. This by simply defining the field here. For instance, I'll enter blue. Once I've added this term, it becomes searchable. Show me all images of blue. And there you have it. We can repeat this for a few other images. They are also blue. Notice that as I browse through the images by using the cursor keys, the Extra Info field is populated when it's been entered before. Another benefit of this is that the information is now available in the Image Details section of the Catalog Explorer. Let's switch to that, and you'll see your input fields listed here at the bottom, in my case with the Extra Info field. Now I'll go back to my images and enter more data in my custom field. This is rowing, buildings, I can also combine a few terms in here like water, greenish, birds. Any of these terms I can eventually use as a search term. Here's another blue, water, reflection, yacht. OK, so now I've done a few and I can use the search box to find them again. Let's find the one with birds on it. There it is. I'm not limited to one custom field. In fact, I can add as many custom fields that I need. Sometimes it's convenient to add an emotion as a search term. Like this one. This is a sad picture. Or this one here. I'll add thinking, wondering. So this demonstrates how you create custom fields and have them integrated in your Catalog Explorer and be able to combine them in searches. You can also use them as a favorite, add them to dynamic searches. And best of all is that this info will also be written to your metadata as well. When you've become more familiar with XMP, you can also use custom fields to add existing XMP fields to the info panel which aren't displayed there by default. For instance, I'd like to see my lens information here, so I'll enter the XMP field for it called Ox Lens. Another one is EXIF GPS Latitude. And finally, the EXIF GPS Longitude, just to be complete. Existing fields are typically displayed italic to indicate that they are read-only. As I browse through the image, the fields are populated. And again, 
these fields are now accessible in the Image Details section of the Catalog Explorer. This can also be very convenient when creating your own metadata groupings. That wraps it up, and I hope you've gotten a good impression of what custom fields are and how you can make them useful for your workflow.